Hey everyone, it's Romaine Johnson and just wanted to show you an interesting case. This was a patient who came in with tracheal stenosis after an intubation injury. And so here I'm doing the laryngoscopy and tracheoscopy and you can see I'm in the trachea. And essentially she had a grade three stenosis in the trachea. She also had laryngeal stenosis. The posterior vocal cords had fused together. Here's a picture. You can see the laryngeal stenosis fused together. Uh, sort of an adhesive scar, if you will. And then this is the tracheal stenosis, about a grade three. So she came in, you know, in distress, took her to the operating room. After I made my diagnosis, I put her in suspension and I used some scissors to cut the laryngeal stenosis. It's a pretty thick scar. And so I was able to eventually cut through. Um, and I felt this was better than just ripping it with some cup forceps or dilation. Uh, since it's so close to the vocal cords. So eventually I was able to cut through. I did denude that extra tissue with some cups, but I was very gentle not to injure the vocal cords. After that, I put some vocal cord spreaders in and I took care of the grade three stenosis, uh, a part of grade three tracheal stenosis. And again, I'm doing all this without a trach. Patient's breathing spontaneously. I have a little endotracheal tube on the side that allows them to get oxygenation as well as gas during the procedure. And they typically leave the balloon in for about two minutes. And I, you know, it's not going to look perfect, but what you want is just a better airway, something more open. Here's a still photograph of that. And in this case, I decided to put a stent in. I put a Dumont stent in, and Dumont stents work great. They can uh, dislodge, and the patient can cough them out. Uh, so you have to kind of oversize a little bit, which typically means they can be kind of tough to put in. But if you just use principles of pushing gently with with controlled force. And then typically you have to push both up and down, left and right, in order to get it into the right position. Uh, but then once you get it in a position, make sure everything's okay. Uh, and this is the end result. Vocal cords look pretty good. Dumont stent, I think could be a little bit better position, but I was happy, you know, the enemy of good is better. And uh, we'll see how the patient does. I'll give you a follow-up when I can. Thanks.